recognize the honeycomb I'm floating in. Yeah. So I thought we'd kick back at the beehive inside the actual beehive with some coffee house jazz with some coffee house jazz and blues. This is the non-stop relaxing coffee house jazz and blues music. No copyright. YouTube audio library. And we say mahalo YouTube for the royalty free music. And let's say hello to Newbie Jombie. Take a swirl, Jombie. There's Jombie the newbie. He's on top of the world. And then we have, who do we have here? It's Jimmy. Jimmy's hanging at the beehive. Yeah, Jimmy. They are action bees. And who do we have hanging over in the corner of the beehive? Let's see who is that. It's little Weedy. Little Weedy. Hey, little Weedy. What's going on? Weedy was helping me put the crown on. That's what Weed Bee was doing. Little Weed Bee. Alrighty then. And when I turned on my computer, this is the lovely, lovely scene I got. I wonder where that is. I wonder where that is. That's just down the street from me. Actually, it's on the other. It's just less than 10 miles from here. Yeah. Okay. And we are floating at the beehive. I think this is, um, this might be some OG Kush from last night before I fell asleep. But I have to tell you that the uh, wedding cake can of oil last night that I had uh, pretty much helped me sleep. I didn't, I didn't want to wake up this morning again, and even my dog was tired. That's how good the stuff is. She's getting a contact high. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, so, has it helped me be able to sleep? Tremendously. And I'm so ever thankful for that. If you've had insomnia ever, you know why. So what's going on at the beehive? Well, not much is going on at the beehive and the surrounding areas. Uh, we're open to business. So I know that spring has sprung up pretty much all over the place and some of you guys are having good weather and some of you guys have not so good weather, but I think that we are on the downslope now and summer is definitely here. Now I'm glad I held off six months on buying that Amish fireplace that I wanted because we had a very cold winter here, kids. It was too cold to deal with. But I always say I'd rather be a little bit on the cold side than on the hot side because it's easier to warm up than it is to cool yourself off. If you don't have air conditioning when you're hot, it just isn't the same as I'm cold, put a sweater on. <laughs> You know what I mean, bees. And we are back from the commercial break. So, what's going on in your neck of beehives? How's your beehive? What's going on at your beehive? How's your beehive tonight? What's going on at your beehive? And we're coming to you live from the beehive somewhere in the Hawaiian Islands, maybe even a lava tube somewhere in the Hawaiian Islands. You just never know these days. Now, as I was cabbing, as we like to say, or zoning out while I was making oil, actually I was uh, in multitasking, but what I wanted to do was, you know, just say that I can understand how when I'm rolling, my flowers and I see that I got a healthy stem with lots of trichomes on it that in an oven where those can be decarbed and then used in oil that would be a, a way to be able to utilize your plant to 100% now I don't grow it I have to buy mine so 
when you're buying a little little here and a little there all of those little stems can add up so that when you want to make some oil you know every little bit counts now i'm hoping that this batch comes out extra potent um because that way i can um attempt to see you know I, how much coffee you know every batch is going to be different right so you just have to and the first one that you do you're going to get a wicked a different type of a uh, buzz going on than you know if if you were on your second or third day of using it and slinging it in your coffee now what i'm trying to save up for <clears throat> is to buy enough of the gmo strain which is the garlic mushroom onion and perhaps because that is the highest strain of that's the highest thc strain at 30 almost 32 percent when you decarb it goes up by at least four percent so that would be like 35 36 around 35 37 thc that's got to be strong and that one because of its unique flavor and aroma of course you want to be able to do all kinds of that stuff you can be making uh sauce for pizzas pasta and i don't just mean tomato sauces you can be flinging that stuff slinging it in some alfredo sauce you know whatever wh whatever because i don't mind the flavor you know I, you know even though it's weird um but i think it'll taste good in foods that have garlic and onion in them you know your your kind of meal food so i'm looking forward to that we're you know we're working on it a little bit at a time but that's a good thing i'm willing to try and i'm i am buzzing with the good news about every flower and how it makes at least me feel and how it can hopefully make you feel if you're experiencing some um symptoms of life you just want to better be able to cope with and we're buzzing at the beehive this song to me always sounds like the end of saturday night live so we're hoping that it will um well i know where it is i'll be able to play it when we wrap things up here live from the beehive and i want to thank you all for coming out to the beehive and being live at the beehive with the queen weed bee how's your beehive and then the queen weed bee buzzing here at the beehive coming to you live somewhere from the hawaiian islands and possibly even a lava too i'm enjoying the gold version of some OG Cook from last night's uh, help you help lull you to sleep batch um, Scooby Scooby snack and um, we're waiting for the uh, wedding cake oil to complete the process in the magical butter maker how's your beehive I want to remind you folks to also watch We Be Buzzin' as I'm sightseeing and buzzing around the island. We have so many beautiful things and places to go on this island. And if you can't be here, I'd like to bring it to you in your living room, right? The privacy in your own home where you can just kick back and watch. Turn down the music and just watch the scenes. What's going on at your beehive today? Are you making any can of goodies? Now, somewhere along the line, I may have edited, edited or forgotten that I had told the story about where the word or the name Jombi comes from for newbie Jombi. Cause you know, even though this stuff helps, sometimes weed bee is just weed bee depressed and can't even get on to do a weed bee show. So, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but that's okay. It just means you have good stuff. <laughs> I better rewind and see what was I going to say? But you know, 
why do that when half the fun is trying to remember what you were saying to begin with? <laughs> oh, I have many questions that are so relevant. This isn't even funny, but as we'd be sitting here listening to this music, it's Elvis the King. I don't know what's what's available there to watch. <laughs>